G'day. Paul here down at Wild Horse Mountain and there's a bit of a forest behind us and uh, I thought we'd have our meditation here this morning as we read from the book of James from chapter 4 verse 4 out of the Passion Translation. You have become spiritual adulterers who are having an affair and unholy relationship with the world. Don't you know that flirting with the world's values places you at odds with God? Whoever chooses to be the world's friend makes himself God's enemies. Does the scripture mean nothing to you that says the spirit that God breathes into our hearts is a jealous lover? who intensely desires to have more and more of us. But he continues to pour out more and more grace upon us. For it says that God resists you when you are proud, but continually pours out grace when you are humble. So then, surrender to God, stand up to the devil, and resist him, and he will turn and run away from you. <coughs> and that's a very important point. Uh, in other versions it says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So we need to remember that we first of all have to surrender to God, stand up to the devil, and resist him, and he will turn and run away from you. Verse 8. Move your heart closer and closer to God and he will come even closer to you. But make sure you cleanse your life, you sinners, and keep your heart pure and stop doubting. Feel the pain of your sin. Be sorrowful and weep. Let your joking around be turned into mourning and your joy into deep humiliation. Be willing to be made low before the Lord and he will exalt you. So just in those few verses in the book of James, chapter 4, there's incredible truths and also promises. I mean, if you can believe the word of God is going to be true, then submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee. For the devil prowls around us like a roaring lion, seeing whom he can devour. And he's always there, trying to divide, trying to discourage, trying to divide you, and, and trying to defeat you. So, re submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Because light and darkness don't mix. If you've submitted to God, then the light of God is in your life. If you've got the word in your heart, then the light of God is in your heart as well. So that's our meditation today out of James chapter 4. You have a great day. Get into the Word and let the Word of God get into you. We'll see you later. God bless you.